Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see 3D camera tracking in PF Track, and also we will see how to export camera track from PF Track to Maya. So now we are inside PF Track, and also just type import river this sort inside PF Track. So after importing your sort, just we have to click on the C icon. So this will catch this sort in RAM. So now after this, just we have to play and just we have to check over this sort. So this is our sort here. So this sort just we have to track inside PF Track. Then we will export this camera track from PF Track to Maya. So now first, just we have to right click on this footage. Then we have to click on tracking and just we have to click on this auto track. Then downside in this parameter window, just we have to check this preview. So just we can see. So these features are point. Just I am going to track for this sort here. Even we are also getting some points on over this character. So if you want, you can just ignore these points on this character by creating a mask. So simply just you can click on this mask, then click on this BGF, and just you can create a mask. And simply you have to animate according to your object movements. Then hold Control and just simply just you can adjust your mask or translation value. Then really here now we hold control and just you can adjust. So properly just we have to animate. So because this is just a small object, so this will not affect too much. But if you have a maybe large object, then then simply you can create mask like this and just you can ignore point on this character. Now again just we have to click on this mask. So now again just we have to check this preview. So now if you will see, so now there is no any points on this moving object here. Even also just I want to increase some number of points. So just we have to adjust this candidate number value. So maybe hundred points. Just I am going to try. Now just we have to click on this auto track. So now after tracking this sort, if you will see just only few points only. Just I am getting on this ground here. So just you can see and most of the points just I am getting on this wall or this building here. So now just I am going to solve. Our camera, and just we will check in 3D view here. So simply just we have to right click, then click on solve it, and just we have to click on this camera solver. Now just double click, and simply just we have to solve all, and just we have to check our camera solve. So now here, if you will see, just check from 3D view here. So now if you will see, so most of the points just I am getting on this wall. So just you can see this one here, on this ground, maybe few points only just I am getting, but we also need points on about this ground. So for this, what we can do? So simply, just I am going to use another auto track node, and just we will track points on over this ground. Then we will combine these points and ground point. Then after this, we will solve our camera. We will see how we can do all these things here. So now, just I am going to take another auto track node. Then again, right click, then tracking, and just click on this auto track, and just connect with this main footage. Then double click. So now, first, just I am going to create a mask for this ground because in this uh, auto track, only just I am going to track points on over this ground. So just we have to create a mask. So just click on this mask. So now here, if you will see, we are also getting this one actually previous mask here. So what I am going to do? Just select this one, delete this one. Now just I am going to create a new mask. Then again, we have to click on this BJ Roto, and just we have to create a new. Mask, and just we have to animate. So maybe I think this is sufficient here. Then after this, just we have to invert this mask. So simply just we have to click on this invert. So now just I am going to track only. This area, so just you can see. Again, just we have to click on this mask, and just we have to check this preview. So now, just I am going to track two hundred point for this ground here. So now, just we have to adjust this one. Even if you want, you can also just enhance this sort. So simply, just you can click on this enhance, and just you can adjust this contrast all these things. Now, simply, just you can click on this color, and just we can adjust this contrast value. 
now again just we have to click on this in and so now just we have to check this preview so now just i'm going to trade all these points here so now you can see so just i'm getting many points here on this ground here now after this just we have to click on this auto trade so now just i've tracked these points one over this ground here so now just i'm going to combine these two auto track points here for this what i'm going to do so simply just we have to copy this one or directly you can just select this one and just you can connect after this one here but just i'm going to take a copy so just select this one then just click a copy and just paste it here and just connect after this track node now just we have to double click on the second one and downside you will get this fetch option so this, so this will fetch this this no track points here so now just we have to click on this fetch and just call so now here if you will see so simply just i've combined these two auto tracker nodes points here and just total just i'm getting these points here i'm also getting many points on over this ground and also on this building here now after this just i'm going to solve our camera even before solving if you want you can also delete some higher points so simply just you can click on this error and just you can click on this trim and just you can trim these points here so if you are maybe getting many higher points here but i think this is sufficient here i'm going to solve our camera then we have to right click then solving and just we have to select this camera solver and just connect after this one and simply just we have to double click then solve all so now this is our camera solve here and now just we have to check our this solve error so simply just we have to click on solver log so downside you will again see this deviations value or camera solve error which is 0.54 which is acceptable but still suppose if you want to improve this camera solve then for this we have to click on this error and just we can adjust this camera path here so now just we have to click on this trim and just you can adjust this value then we have to click on again refine all so now just i'm getting this camera solve here even if you want to check this improved value then again you have to click on this solve all now again just if you will click on this solver log so now just you can see this is camera solve improvement which is 0.39 so just simply just you can delete higher point and just you can adjust your camera solve now just little bit just we have to trim some points maybe so just you can adjust this one so maybe these are sufficient now finally just we have to refine all and simply just we have to play and just check out this camera solve so just we can play and just we can check we have to click on the two view and just we can check this camera solve through over this perspective view here or 3d view so just you can see so these are our actually uh, 3d some points on our this ground and these are our actually points on this building so just you can see these points here so now after this just i'm going to orient over this scene so just right click then go to this utility and just we have to select this orient scene node so first we have to define a origin so maybe i think uh, this point is just i'm going to use as origin so just we have to select one point so one over this ground then we have to click on this set origin now just you can see this one here then we have to orient our scene just we have to click on this edit mode and just we can select these rotations and just we can adjust this value so this is actually g value then y up y axis up axis this is x and g axis so just we have to adjust all these things even if you want you we can also use four view here so just we can see all these things here So just you have to check even if you want to adjust this grid size then simply you can click on this plus so just you can also see this grid here 
or just we have to select this none and just select the singer viewer so just easily just we can see all these things here or just reduce this grid size so easily just we can see this is our whole agent and then now just you can see this one and this is our horizon line so as you can see all these things here matching here now just we have to play and just we have to check so now this is just looking good here so after this just i am going to create some test object and just we will test over this scene or camera solve then we have to right click then click on this geometry and just we have to select the test object then first just i am going to create a cow head so simply just we have to select this head then add to scene then in this interaction mode just we have to click on this plate and selected features then you can select any features or points so now as you can see so this 3d object is just placed on top of this ground here and this is just moving or matching with our this camera movements here so now just you can see so now even if you want you can just create many test objects so simply just select this mushroom and just add to scene then place a selected feature just you have to select this one then you have to select point so this will automatically place now you can just click on the duplicate and just select all these features even if you want to adjust size then just you can select this geometry and just you can select this scale and just you can adjust this one here so now if you will adjust this size so this will adjust size but this will also adjust this positions here so again just we have to select the place a selected feature then we have to select this point after adjusting this size then only this will place on this ground so remember this one here or another option just simply just you can delete so now if simply just you can click on this tall marker and just uncheck this one recenter option now add to scene so this will add then again just you can create duplicate then just you can create many test object so now finally just we have to play and just we have to check our this camera solve so now this is just looking good here so now finally just i am going to export this camera track from after effects to maya then we will import this camera track inside maya so simply just we have to right click then we have to click export and select the export option then connect after this test node then double click then in format just we have to select this autodesk maya 2011 this this option then you can select your location where you want to save this maya file select this folder and downside please you can give your file name so by default this will automatically take this name from your sequence name now just we have to click on save finally just we have to click on export scene this is again important things here export succeeded so like this simply just you can track your shot inside pf track so now after this just i am going to import this camera track inside maya so before importing this camera track inside maya we have to also just check this sort information just on top you will get all this sort information so this is frame size or resolution 920 1080 and this is frame rate on 25 fps just i have tracked this sort so now just i am going to import this camera track inside maya so now we are inside maya and just we have to import our camera track please we have to click on file then click on open scene and just you have to select your file which you have exported from pf track so this is our main folder and simply just we have to select and just we have to click on open don't save so now downside you will also see this frame rate so this will automatically adjust frame rate which is showing 25 fps on which just type track this sort inside pr track so now just if you will see now just select these things here now just click on the panel then we can select this camera view so now just you can see all these things here so now just we are looking through this camera view here So this is our main scene group then inside this this is our main camera then points group and these are our actually 3d geometry or proxy geometry which just i've created in pr track now simply just we can play and just we can check so just type import about this camera track inside maya so now after importing your data inside maya we have to also just save it over the scene 
then we have to click on file save scene as now we have to click on save as so now after this just time going to assign maybe some object in our display layer so just easily just click and hide and so so just click here this layer editor and just select all these proxy geometry control g press and just assign into our the display layer here and just easily just we can hide even points group you can also assign in display layer double click just give a name even if want you can just also change this locator color now save so just easily just you can find your locator even if you want to adjust your locator size then just simply just you can select all these individuals locator then from here uniformly just you can adjust so maybe 0 0.08 so now just you can see all these points here visible here now just we have to select two view and as we can see so this is our camera view and this is our perspective view here so, so simply just we can select all these camera and just we can press F so just you can see all these things here and just we have to also check our scene orientation even still if there is any requirement then just we can also orient your scene inside Maya so for orienting your scene simply just we have to select this entire group then we can adjust these rotations value and just we can orient your scene according to your requirements here now just I am going to create a 3d object inside Maya even if you want you can also just adjust near and far clip value here please just we have to select this camera and just lock first all these parameters then go to this attribute editor so again just we have to select this camera and just we can adjust this value so maybe make it then three zero just we have to put here so now just i am going to create a just test geometry here so for this simply just we have to click on this cube so now just you can see this is our test objects here even before creating your any test object inside Maya if you want you can also adjust your scene scale then for this just we have to select this main scene group then go to this layer editor and just we can adjust this scale value so maybe just make it 5 so just you can see here this one this grid so like this if you want you can just also adjust your scene scale according to your requirements here even for proper scene scale just simply just you can take a 6 feet character and just you can also adjust your scene scale now just make it 1 then just I am going to create a 3d object inside Maya just click on this cube now just you can adjust this now just select this one press W so first we have to move this anchor point at this bottom here so press D and V now press V and just snap it here maybe anywhere just you can place now just adjust this size So now if you want you can just hide these locators here even grid if you want you can also hide so just you can hide this grid so now this 3d object is just placed into our this scene here and this is moving with our this camera movements here check this grid and just also just we can check our this 3d object then after this just you can import any 3d object and just you can place into this scene here so guys till here i have completed over this class so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching